472 law enforcement officers in the U.S. were killed in the line of duty last year. Family and friends and fellow officers are honoring their sacrifice today, the last day of National Police Week. Chase Bethel joins us with how East Tennessee recognizes the lives lost and celebrates people still serving their communities. Chase, good morning. Ladies, good morning. This memorial that you see right here in Harriman honors the law enforcement lives lost in the line of duty across Roan mm -hmm. County. The dates and names go all the way back to 1890. But one name in the middle of the line is still very fresh in minds. Officer Jesse Matthew Rittenhouse died in September of 2004 on a rain slicked road in Roan County. He was on his way back from picking up dinner for his fellow Harriman police officers on the night shift when his car hydroplaned and flipped on Highway 27. Harriman Chief of Police Baron Tapp said every officer knows the risks involved with the job, but when a good young officer like Matt dies, it adds to the burden. Every day when you put a badge on, you just pray that you are coming home. And it was just a, a sad time to see such a young, upcoming good officer to lose his life that early. The Harriman Police and Roan County community gathered last night at that same memorial to remember officers like Rittenhouse who were killed doing their job. Harriman business owners also lit their storefronts blue to show support that night. Earlier this week, law enforcement from across the state gathered in Nashville to honor the 19 Tennessee officers that lost their lives in 2020 and in 2021. Today is the last day of National Police Week, but that doesn't mean people need to forget the daily work officers do for their communities. Abby, Heather. Mm, they do so much for us too. Chase, thank you.